All right. Um, well, I'm going to talk about depression. So obviously the causes, effects, and treatment that goes into it. By the way, I'm I'm Ian Webster, so I'll go ahead and get started. Um, first, I'm going to give you a brief overview. I'm going to cover what exactly depression is, and then I'm going to talk about some of the causes and effects of depression, and then what you can do to treat it. So to start off, uh, what exactly is depression? Depression is basically the common cold of mental illness. Um, it's very common, um, but it's also very expensive. And I'll get to that in a moment. But uh, basically what it is, is it's a negative mood and a loss of, uh, loss of pleasure. And it spans from uh, dys dys dysithmia, or not really sure what that is, um, to major depression, which basically this one right here is uh, it's just a mild form of depression, um, whereas major depression kind of could lead to potentially suicide. Um, and then, as I said before, it's very common and very expensive. Um, like a lot of other uh, you know, physical illnesses, uh, this is almost comparable because the people that are affected with it can't really go out and do what a normal person does. Um, what causes depression? There aren't really any real known causes of depression. Just, uh, but there are some uh, people that are more susceptible than others. Um, but you know, scientists do believe that it's it's kind of a combination of biological and psychological conditions that go into it. Um, and then some effects that go into it, it can span from as little to just self-deprecation all the way up to suicide. So it can get pretty bad. Um, and then here's some statistics on suicide: about 90% uh, of all people who commit suicide have been diagnosed with a. Uh, a mental disorder, and suicide is the tenth um, leading cause of death in America. 60% uh, of all people who commit suicide suffer from major depression, and this past year over 38,000 people were uh, killed due to suicide. Um, so how to treat depression? Basically, uh, there's two steps to this. The first step is just kind of acknowledging that you have a problem, acknowledging that you're depressed you're depressed. Um, and once you do that, then you can kind of move on to, you know, determining what the next, you know, step is, and that's finding help. And the ways you can do that is you can seek out counseling, therapy, or even, uh, you know, prescription antidepressant medicines. And uh, there, there's a myriad of these antidepressant drugs, and they kind of range depending on, you know, how, how bad your depression is. So these are just a couple examples of what you can do. And here are my sources.